It's impossible to think of American cuisine and not think of cinnamon. This warm spice is both traditional and unexpected. It's often found in pies, cookies, and beverages, but can provide an unexpected twist when used creatively in savory dishes. I'm Rachel Gooding from McCormick for Chefs. We invited Adam Walker, chef de cuisine at Panache Fine Catering, to get some ideas on how cinnamon can take center stage when serving large groups. Adam, how's it going? It's good, it's good. When we're doing recipe development here at McCormick, we always start on a smaller scale. But when you're catering, you're often doing big parties, sometimes mm -hmm. 200 plus people. So how do you scale up your recipes? When you're catering, sometimes simpler is better. It really is all about making the flavor pop, you know, using spices and herbs to make something simple be unique. Cinnamon is a great one for that. McCormick has a long history of cinnamon. I mean, who doesn't think about cinnamon when they think of spice? I use it too if I have a savory dish that has a component that sometimes you think of as sweet. So if you have like roasted sweet potatoes or roasted butternut squash, just a little bit of cinnamon with the other herbs and spices that you're using, it sort of like reminds people, oh yeah, this is sweet potato, this right. is butternut squash. And we have some cinnamon in the butternut squash soup that we're gonna be making. Sure. I know this is a really easy dish to make for catering, because you can make everything ahead of time. Now, if we were gonna serve this tomorrow, we can still add the cinnamon and stuff now, because the cinnamon really holds its flavor. It does, over time. like those nuts you use, those have a pretty high hit of cinnamon in them. There's a little bit of clove and nutmeg, but really cinnamon is what they taste like. And we wanna put a little salt too, that keeps it from being so sugary. It makes it a little savory too. And then the cinnamon crouton with a little sugar and a little cinnamon, awesome crunch component. Mm. The smooth creaminess of the soup with the crunchiness of the crouton mm -hmm. and the spice of the pecan, that little heat, I mm -hmm. could eat this all day. Next we are making uh, orange roasted salmon with bejeweled barley pilaf, both of which are super easy for catering because you can make them ahead of time and then you just have to pop them in the warmer and they're ready to go. Something that I like to do to help portion it at the event is that I score it or cut it all the way through to the skin before I even marinate it. The barley pilaf is awesome because not only does it have all these really beautiful, colorful roasted vegetables, but also is a barley pilaf and most people expect rice pilaf. Green beans, parsley, and the scallions, have them just be separate so they don't get heated when the rest of it gets heated. It's a really great dish that has a dressing with baharat seasoning. And that spice blend has got a lot of cumin and coriander and some cardamom. It's a really good example of like a savory way to use cinnamon, because I wouldn't call this dish sweet. These ball of flavors and the cinnamon kind of brings it back home and brings it to something you know. Mm. Mm-hmm. It was delicious. The orange comes out, the caramelization of the brown sugar. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Let's try some of the peel off. Wow. Mm -hmm. The brightness of the lemon, that baharat, the cinnamon's coming through, mm -hmm. all those roasted vegetables. That is delicious. Oh, and they're so nice together, too. Exactly. Well, Adam, thank you so much for spending your day with me. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, this was a great time. <laughs>